Hello and welcome to JN Aquarium. Today we're going to talk about a clutch of short fin ancestrous or bristlenose plecos that I have gotten some absolutely crazy patterns coming out of that I've never gotten before. Stay tuned. <music> The Pleco babies in question came out of this 65 gallon tall tank right here. I've had this tank for several years. Most of the fish in, these, in this tank were actually my children's fish and then when they stopped looking after them I just collected them all and put them into this tank and I've had these fish for several several years now and some of them are even babies from the adults in there. There are several ancestrous in this tank. They are all over. They have many, many hiding spots in this tank. There's tons of moss, tons of moss. They hide in the moss. They are all over. Now the genetics are very diverse with the ancestrous in here as I have crossbred many different Kinds to come up with these short fins. Fry come out of this cave right here and what's so special about this is I've never gotten any babies that were anything other than just brown short fin or albino short fin. So let's have a look at the babies in a little clearer aquarium than their hang on basket they're currently in. So I have them all set up in this little one gallon fish tank with just a little bit of water so hopefully we can get a really good look at these guys zoomed in. So let's take a look at them. So as you can see many of them look like pretty much normal brown short fins. These guys are a little bit lighter in color but as we pan around there are some that look like this much lighter much lighter and then it gets even better if we can find them they're piled up in the corner but there's one there that ancestress right there is very very unique coloration on it i don't know what it is it's like a calico type coloration but uh, that's going to be a very unique color Here we have a couple piled up in the corner. Look at the neat colors on them. They're looking like they're gonna come out calico, almost definitely. This is the first time I've ever had a unique color pattern like this come out of any of my short fin bristlenose plecos. So in total, it looks like I have six or seven with some very unique color patterns on them. And we'll keep a look, close look at all of them as they mature because they will change. They will most definitely change. And in the meantime, I'll try and figure out how we got these different color patterns. My guess is, is that these are a cross between a brown and a green dragon short fin ancestors. That is my guess. And some of them seem to have those characteristics to honor that guess as you can see some of them are a bit green they have a bit different pattern on them than your regular brown bristle nose but i was under the assumption that if you did this they would all just turn out brown but maybe i'm wrong so i will continue to watch these guys and watch their patterns and colors as they mature and we'll see what we end up with happy fish keeping and until next time take care everybody bye for now